Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started using the Easy Builder WP plugin. So first off, I'm just going to show you how to navigate through the interface. So I've set off a test campaign. We can go ahead and click Manage Campaign. Here I just want to show you how it works. First you have to manage your pages. I've created a sample page and you can see it's taking a screenshot of that page. We can go ahead and view that page by clicking on that. And we'll load the page right here. This is a sales page template. And uh, we can go ahead and click on create new. I'm going to give a page, a new page. Oh. And uh, as you can see here, we have a bunch of page templates to get started. So you can go ahead and create unlimited pages, but we can go ahead and create a sales page, a landing page, a banner page. Uh, a video page, a review page, thank you page, a members area page with download links, and a blog page. And then we just click on them and it'll highlight in blue. And uh, let's just go ahead and click on and create a thank you page. Let's call it new page. So that and then we'll see it. We'll do page seeker and it'll create a thumbnail. So we'll create a thumbnail when it was a uh, at the time, so we make changes. So let's go ahead and see this. So we viewed this in a browser, and let's quickly go ahead. Well, before I jump into the live editor, let's just go ahead and see how I can change this page right here first. So we can go into the design settings, and we can go ahead and give this a header image and a background. I'll jump into that in a second. First, let's go ahead and change the typography to Georgia and drop shadow. We can give it a drop shadow. We can also round the corners off. There are 10 or 5 pixels. And this will affect all pages. So I want to show you an example of that. So we load the page and now the background is white with the drop shadow and the rounded corners. And Georgia is the font, obviously. And this will affect all pages. So let's just go ahead and view this thank you page that we just created. And then, of course, it is the same exact same settings. So let's go ahead and SEO settings. So the browser title, we have the meta de description, the meta keywords, and we have the footer. Let's just go ahead and grab some content to put in the footer. And then go ahead and put our own custom CSS and our own GS JavaScript if you want for tracking, etc. And let's go ahead and do this page. And now it can't see it when the browser title now has the, the title there. Let's go ahead and change the background to a little darker. Save that. And I'm going a little fast. I'll slow down. So uh, and then you can go ahead and see that it's darker. So we made a few changes to the both of our pages. And as you can see, all the, cha the reflection the changes reflect on all pages. Let's just go ahead and click reload thumbnails. And this will allow us to go ahead and reload these thumbnails right here. So let's just go ahead and click that and go back to our thing. Click on reload thumbnails and it'll reload each of these thumbnails so you can see the reflective changes. So now let's just go ahead and jump into the live editor. So before we do that, actually, I know I'm leading up to it, but uh, let's just go ahead and delete a page. So I'll say, are you sure you want to delete it? You can go OK. And the page is gone. And you can also delete the campaign by clicking right there. This one's uh, very important because if you have 20 pages for this campaign, it will delete all those pages as well. So make sure not to do that if you don't want to. So you can create unlimited campaigns. Let's go to manage campaigns right here. You can see we have one for test campaign. This is the number of pages we have for the manage campaign. We have one page right here. So now we want to edit this page. Let's go ahead and click on this edit button right here. This will allow you to edit your page inside your web browser. If you are using an older browser, it will pop up and tell you you're running an older browser that may not you be able to use the HTML5 